Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Opnik's YouTube channel. In this video, we will define factorial notation and we will solve problems and operations on factorial notation. At first, let us have a review on fundamental counting principles. How many four-digit number divisible by 5 can be formed from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 if repetition is allowed? In this problem, we have six possible options on our first digit since 0 cannot be used as the leading digit in a 4-digit number. 7 possible options on the second digit and also 7 possible options in the third digit. But, we only have 2 possible options in the units digit simply because the restriction is divisible by 5 and only numbers ending with 0 and 5 are the numbers divisible by 5. So all in all, by multiplying 6, 7, 7, and 2, we have 588 4-digit possible numbers. In how many ways can we select two books from different subjects among 8 distinct math books, 5 distinct science books, and six distinct English books. Let us first identify the number of options if we are about to choose from the math and science books only. We have eight math books and five science books. Multiplying eight by five, we, all, we have 40 options. If we are about to choose from the English and science books, we have six times five, and that is equal to 30. If we will choose from math and English books, we have 8 times 6, and that is equal to 48. Now, since the three sets of selections are disjoint, we may use the addition principle, and that is 40 plus 30 plus 48. All in all, we have 118 ways of selecting two books. Let us now discuss factorial notation. The factorial notation states that the factorial of a positive integer n is denoted by n factorial. It's the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. By representation, that is equal to n factorial equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 dot 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 times 3 times 2 times 1. The notation n factorial was first introduced by the French mathematician Christian Kramp in 1808. Let us start with a simple example. Simplify 5 factorial. If we are about to expand 5 factorial, that is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Multiplying all the numbers, that is equal to 120. That means that 5 factorial is equal to 120. If you are going to use calculator, key in 5, Shift x raised to negative 1 equal sign. And that will be equal to 120. Simplify 7 factorial. The expanded form of 7 factorial is equal to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1 which is equal to 5,040. If you are going to use a calculator, 
you may key in 7, shift, x raised to negative 1, and then the equal sign. You will also get 5040. Simplify 7 factorial minus 4 factorial. This one is an example of operations involving factorial notation. The value of 7 factorial is equal to 5040 minus the value of 4 factorial which is 24. 5040 minus 24 that is equal to 5016. If you're going to use a calculator, key in 7, shift, x raised to negative 1, minus 4, shift, x raised to negative 1, and then the equal sign. Simplify 5 factorial plus 3 factorial. 5 factorial is equivalent to 120, while 3 factorial is equivalent to 6. So that is 120 plus 6, which is equal to 126. If you are going to use a calculator, key in 5, shift, x raised to negative 1, plus 3, shift, x raised to negative 1, and then the equal sign. You will also get 126. Simplify 5 factorial, 3 factorial. 5 factorial, 3 factorial is also the same as 5 factorial times 3 factorial. 5 factorial is equal to 120, while 3 factorial is equal to 6. So that is 120 times 6, which is equal to 720. If you are going to use a calculator, you key in 5, shift, x raised to negative 1, times 3, shift, x raised to negative 1, and then the equal sign. You, you will also get 720. Simplify 8 factorial over 5 factorial. 8 factorial over 5 factorial is simply the same as 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial. You may use this method if you are going to divide factorial notations. That is equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Since 5 factorial is our divisor over 5 factorial. You may cancel out 5 factorial over 5 factorial simply because that is the same as 1. That's 8 times 7 times 6, which is equal to 336. If you are going to use calculator, you may key in 8, shift, x raised to negative 1, divided by 5, shift, x raised to negative 1, and then the equal sign. You will also get 336. Simplify 10 factorial all over 7 factorial times 3 factorial. By expanded form, we will have 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. We stop at 7 factorial simply because we have 7 factorial written as our divisor. You may can we may cancel out 7 factorial. What will remain is 10 times 9 times 8 which is equal to 720 while 3 factorial is equal to 6. 720 divided by 6, that is equal to 120. If you are going to use a calculator, you key in 10, shift, x raised to negative 1, divided by, open parenthesis, 7, shift, x raised to negative 1, times 3, shift, x raised to negative 1, close parenthesis, and then the equal sign. You will also get 120.
Let us solve for the value of n in the expression quantity n plus 2 factorial all over n factorial is equal to 42. By cross multiplication, the expression is the same as quantity n plus 2 factorial equals 42 times n factorial. Expanding the left side of the equation, we will get n plus 2 times the quantity n plus 1 times n factorial equals 42 times n factorial. We may now cancel out the common factor which is n factorial and simplify the remaining factors. n plus 2 times n plus 1 is equal to n squared plus 3n plus 2 equals 42. Rewriting the equation in general form, we will arrive at n squared plus 3n minus 40 is equal to 0. Now, since this is a trinomial, we may factor this one out. The factors of negative 40, whose sum is positive 3, are 8 and negative 5. Therefore, the factors are quantity n plus 8 times the quantity n minus 5 is equal to 0. Equating both factors in terms of 0, we will arrive at n plus 8 equals 0 and n minus 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have n is equal to negative 8 and n is equal to positive 5. We will reject negative 8 and we are going to accept the positive integer which is positive 5. Therefore, n is equal to positive 5. Simplify quantity n plus 1 factorial is equal to 6 times the quantity n minus 1 factorial. We must first factor out or expand the left side of the equation and that is equal to quantity n plus 1 times n times the quantity n minus 1 factorial is equal to 6 times n minus 1 factorial. Since we now have the common factor, which is n minus 1 factorial, we may cancel out the common factor. Simplifying the left side of the equation, that will be n squared plus n equals 6. The writing in general form, we will then have n squared plus n minus 6 is equal to 0. Factoring the trinomial, we will get n plus 3 times the quantity n minus 2 equals 0 because the factors of negative 6 whose sum is positive 1 are the numbers 3 and negative 2. Equating both factors in terms of 0, we will have n plus 3 equals 0 and n minus 2 equals 0. Solving for the values of n, we have n equals negative 3 and n equals positive 2. Let us reject the negative 3 and accept positive 2. Therefore, n is equal to positive 2. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. The factorial of a positive integer n is denoted by n factorial is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. In symbols, it is represented by n factorial equals n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 dot 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 times 3 times 2 times 1. Let us now check your understanding based on this video. Try to solve the following items on your own. Do not forget to pause this video while doing the activity. Let us now discuss your answers. 
simplify 7 factorial 3 factorial 7 factorial 3 factorial is just the same as 7 factorial times 3 factorial 7 factorial is equal to 5040 well, 3 factorial is equal to 6. So, that's 5040 times 6, which is equal to 30,240. If you're going to use a calculator, you key in 7, shift, x raised to negative 1, times 3, shift, x raised to negative 1, and then the equal sign. You will also get 30,240. Simplify 12 factorial all over 10 factorial to factorial. By expanding the numerator, that will be equal to 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. We stop at 10 factorial simply because there is a 10 factorial in our denominator. We have now common factors between the denominator and then the numerator. Therefore, we may cancel out 10 factorial. Simplify the operations remaining. That is equal to 12 times 11 equals 132 all over 2 factorial which is equal to 2. 132 divided by 2, that is equal to 66. If you are going to use calculator, you key in 12, shift, x raised to negative 1, divided by, open parenthesis, 10, Shift, x raised to negative 1, times 2, shift, x raised to negative 1, close parenthesis, and then the equal sign. You will also get 66. Simplify quantity n plus 2 factorial all over n factorial is equal to 72. By cross multiplication, that is equal to quantity n plus 2 factorial equals 72 times n factorial. Expanding the left side of the equation, we will arrive at n plus 2 times n plus 1 times n factorial equals 72 times n factorial. We may cancel out common factors on both sides of the equation. And that is n factorial. Simplifying the operations, we have n plus 2 times n plus 1, which is equal to n squared plus 3n plus 2 equals 72. Rewriting the equation in general form, that is equal to n squared plus 3n minus 70 equals 0. Since this is now a trinomial, we may check whether it is factorable. Identify the factors of negative 70 whose sum is positive 3. We have n plus 10 times the quantity n minus 7 equals 0. Equating both factors in terms of 0, we will arrive at n plus 10 equals 0 and n minus 7 equals 0. Solving for the values of n, we have n is equal to negative 10 and n is equal to 7. We reject negative 10 while we accept positive 7. Therefore, n is equal to 7. Thank you for watching Sir Ocnix YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, Hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!